Dave Filoni is giving us an Ahsoka Disney Plus series. It is set to debut later on this summer. Finally, the fandom is going to get to see exactly what Dave Filoni is made of, as he is the sole writer of the series and its sole showrunner. Dave Filoni is also creating his own live-action movie, announced at Star Wars Celebration, that will take place during the Mandalorian era, post-Return of the Jedi. So his movie will be taking place the same time as his Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, just to clear that up. I gotta be honest with you, I have a major issue with Lucasfilm's choices concerning Star Wars and continuity, and that's what I'm going to lay out here. I have an issue with what Dave Filoni is doing. In fact, the more I think about it, the less all of this makes sense. I hope you will hear me out, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Here we go. I've been a Star Wars fan my entire life. One of my earliest Star Wars memories was when I was sitting at my desk in the first grade, daydreaming that an X-Wing was in the school parking lot. I imagined leaving the room, getting in the X-Wing, and flying home. I even got in trouble that day for drawing an X-Wing on my desk. Star Wars hooked me, and here I am today, in my 40s, as my favorite franchise has been struggling, and there is something that Star Wars now under the control of the Walt Disney Corporation, is doing that I just cannot get behind and be excited about. On February 7th, 2023, a newly published book became available, titled Star Wars Timelines, From the Time Before the High Republic to the Fall of the First Order. That title, for me, is a terrible one. As I read it, all I see is Disney Star Wars. There is absolutely nothing in that title that is indicative of the creator of Star Wars. George Lucas, other than the word Star Wars is in it. The book's purpose is to chart the history of Star Wars via a visual timeline that chronologically maps key events, characters, and developments. This book is our first look at an overhauling of the original Star Wars timeline that divided its story into three different eras, the Age of the Republic, the Age of the Rebellion, and the Age of the Resistance. Now, the new chronology has added several more eras to the mix. Now we have the Old Republic, the High Republic, the Fall of the Jedi, the Reign of the Empire, the Age of the Rebellion, the New Republic, the Rise of the First Order, and now the New Jedi Order. The Age of Rebellion officially began in Zero BBY, or Zero before the Battle of Yavin. So the setting for Dave Filoni's Star Wars Rebels actually took place during the Reign of the Empire Age. Dave Filoni's Ahsoka series is basically the continuation of Star Wars Rebels. The only character that we know we won't see will be Kanan Jarrus, but I wouldn't be shocked if we do see him in some form of a flashback. There could even be a Force Ghost scene, though I think that would be a major reach. Well, if Dave Filoni's bringing back the Rebels crew in the Ahsoka series, I'm sure they're going to be around in his movie as well as it is the same setting. Whether it be in his Disney Plus series or his movie, we are going to see Ahsoka, Sabine, Ezra, Zeb, and Grand Admiral Thrawn. The new rumor is that his movie will actually be titled Heir to the Empire, which we covered in a video earlier this week. If that is his title, if he's using all of his characters he created in Star Wars Rebels, how does it make sense to use them in this part of the timeline? Dave Filoni and Lucasfilm is skipping completely over an entire era of Star Wars, the Age of Rebellion. You know, the most popular age in Star Wars history. The age of Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Han Solo. Essentially, Dave Filoni is leapfrogging his characters into the current setting, and he's setting them up to be the heroes of Star Wars. Haven't they already had their chance? Wouldn't it make more sense for the heroes to be from the era right before it? Star Wars Rebels took place over a decade after Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and progressed towards the events of the original Star Wars film. And now, some 12 to 15 years later in Star Wars timeline, all of these characters re-emerge to be our heroes once again? Why didn't Star Wars do this with the original cast in the sequel trilogy? In fact, wouldn't it make more sense to have a Luke Skywalker show instead of an Ahsoka Disney Plus series? If you look at it from a continuity standpoint, it makes too much sense. It seems Dave Filoni and Lucasfilm are determined to 
keep the George Lucas created characters at a distance. And that's exactly a major reason why I have an issue with Dave Filoni. This feels like cheap, watered down Star Wars. How are we going to have a major climactic movie and an Ahsoka series led by Filoni that takes place some five years after Return of the Jedi? And he's using his characters to essentially rewrite Timothy Zahn's Heir to the Empire. As long as Disney neglects decisions that make sense, we will continue to hold Lucasfilm accountable here on the channel and demand a return to great Star Wars. After all, it really wouldn't be that hard.